Good evening, everybody. This is YouTube Poop News with your boy Stuart K. Riley here once again, and we've got a special guest in the house right now. It is Kitty0706, otherwise known as Mr. Elliot. Elliot, welcome to the show. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be on your show. So, uh, how you doing, man? It's uh, good to hear from you. Uh, El- ah, doing good. Um, you know, still uh, recovering from my bone marrow transplant back in November. Um, I get, I'm getting a little better every day, you know. Been been exercising, been physically rehabilitating myself. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, still uh, working on videos at a you know slower pace because uh, you know why I have to go up to the hospital every now and then and blah 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 blah. So I get you. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, we're we're here to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, mm-hmm. for for those of, for those of you for the, those are the people who don't know who you are, kind of explain uh, what you're known for in YouTube. Well, what I'm known for mainly is um, my Gary's Mod videos, and I started making those around, uh, like, uh, uh, freshman year of high school, uh, eighth grade, I don't know. But um, I I, um, quickly made up the, me and my brother actually quickly made up the name Kitty0706 because we wanted to watch an interesting video, and you had to have an account, so we just... You know, just pulled something out of our asses and just made, just pretty much just made the name. And uh, 0706, you know, July 6th, my birthday. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, cause, so it could have uh, just easily have been Batman Hamburger. The No, no, no. Not Batman Hamburger. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I, st- I started making videos uh, with uh, True Crime New York when I when I discovered the debug mode where you can uh, make the camera like move around and and I was like oh I can make a movie with this cool so then I you know I played around with it and then I and then I and then this was when like YouTube was like just starting out and I was like yeah maybe I should uh you know upload it to the channel we already made so mm-hmm. so that's what I did and uh, I got a few viewers and course <laughs> you get the usual like oh what the hell is this shit this is uh this is piece of shit uh, wtf i did you. just watched <laughs> and stuff <laughs> yeah it's like oh yeah you used the uh, song from halo oh, yeah, it's cool <laughs> but um yeah and then i kept making videos with that game in the debug mode and and you know it, it kind of became a thing and i'm like you know i should really expand on this you know like i can't keep making videos with this game it's it's hard to do you gotta so, diversify do some yeah, new stuff th- you know variety is a spice of life okay there you go so um back then i was really into like uh like physics games with like ragdolls and stuff so i, I would go like on a thing and play like that stupid game where you like you know uh like the the falling ragdoll guy with the bubbles and like you know stu- shit, stupid shit like that oh yeah. i don't know like physics games just like um, it interested me a lot, and uh, then I discovered Garry's Mod, and this was when like Gar- is when Garry's Mod Nine was out. Okay, and uh, I was like, oh, no, this is pretty cool. So I downloaded it. Of course, it didn't work because I didn't have Half Life Two, and I'm like, at, at the time, I was like, the hell is Half Life Two? Because I wasn't a PC gamer back then, so I I had no idea what Half Life was, or Valve, or Steam, or anything. So you know, I, you you knew not the magic it, of Gaben back then. No, it did not. But um, you know, I was I was a huge console gamer before then. You know, with Nintendo sixty four and Dreamcast and PlayStation. Oh yeah. But not yeah, you know the classics. But um, mm. yeah. Once once I discovered I needed Half Life two, I was like, okay, okay uh, hey Dad, can I need this game to play this game. <laughs> so, uh, so I got Half Life two. On my really shitty computer that kept freezing, <laughs> so um, then I got a new one, and uh, I was finally able to play uh, Gary's Mod Nine, and that's when I that's when I started making my own uh, Gary's Mod videos, and you know I I experimented a lot with the game, and I, uh, especially with like the first person stuff, like mm-hmm. I, like, I'm, like one day I was just like, okay, let's uh, no collide a camera to uh, some dude's head. And 
weld it. So that's what I did. And then it's like, wow, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. I can, I can make a video with this. So that's, that's what I did with, um, it was, like, it was like a little mini series. It was like Half-Life 2 Project Resistance, I think. Huh. And, um, and then, uh, you know, I, I, uh, once Gary's Mod 10 came out, um, I had to buy it, so so I was like, "Hey, Dad, can you buy this game free?" Yeah. So then, that's what I did, and yeah, that's 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 pretty much that's that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty much, much it. I started, I started, I started it, yeah, and then um, well, actually, I think yeah, uh, of course, back then I had like the worst like video editing software imaginable, so like the quality of everything was like terrible compared to compared to now with like the default like, windows movie maker text and stuff <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't use uh windows movie maker actually i used uh cyberlink power director it was oh yeah yeah i it was it was part of this old game ca game capture card i used to have mm -hmm. and um but yeah that's 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 what i used and you know th there was like i don't know there's like one layer for video and like one layer for audio. <laughs> so, yeah, and you I, had add, a, I had you a know, program that, that came with something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know the the quality was pretty bad. I would, I would say. So <laughs> um, you know once I got Sony Vegas and everything and and I learned the tools of the trade, I kind of just taught myself. You know, I just I just played around with the program a lot and. You know, that's that's where I learned how to how to edit and how to do the, all the timing and whatnot and and all that pretty much. Um, you know, I I don't even really think I like I don't even think I wrote scripts. Like I I, I just like <laughs> I just winked it. You know. Yeah. Um, like I think the video uh, Left for Farts was the one that launched my fame. To be honest. Because mm -hmm. um, it was it was right around the time when Left 4 Dead the first one came out, and um, I remember I used to, I used to have a Face Punch account and I I put that up, and um, you know I got I got some positive reviews and and some negative ones, but um, but somehow it's 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 spread word and and then it it and then it just went on from there. Huh? Yeah, it, it it just went off from there pretty much. Yeah, well, what was the um, the very first uh, like Gmod video that you uploaded to YouTube? What was that? That was called G Man versus Barney, I believe. <laughs> it, it 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 was it was, it was abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> there was no thought process in that at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything was just like horribly. Yeah, yeah. Like I I used to watch. Like uh, like other people's videos, kind of, and they they were like you know the same quality because nobody had any idea what they were they were doing. It was much. it was the early stages of Gary's yeah, mod back then. It was the very early stages of Gary's mod, and uh, you know I they uh, I used to watch. There's I remember, I think I remember the first video I favorited. It was called G Man's Mansion, and. All it consisted of was like screenshots and like sound effects. That's it. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and I thought it was like you know like the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, yeah, this is this is pretty good. Maybe I should, I should try this. And uh, yeah, then I discovered uh, Fraps where you can you know record uh, and film uh, shit. So that's what I started using, and I still use today. Um, All right. But yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, you was talking about like like how Gmod kind of evolved from this uh, from this thing where nobody really knew what they were doing to begin with, so everybody was just trying stuff out uh, yeah. at the time. That that's a, that's a lot like how YouTube poop started out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because um, back in the old days, as and I talked to Super Yoshi, the guy who invented YouTube poop, mm -hmm. and um, he was actually telling me that when he got a computer. With, and he he got a pirated version of Windows XP on it. He he got he got like the earliest version of Windows Movie Maker there ever was, and yeah. um, he um 
he, he started splicing up a, a Super Mario 3 cartoon on there, and he didn't really know what he was doing, but it, he thought it was so funny after after it was all said and done that he just thought, what if I put this on cheesy art for the hell of it just to freak people out? And and it got a lot of negative response, but it oh, yeah. uh, like his, his, his inside friends and his real-life friends and his internet friends thought it was hilarious. And oh, that, yeah. Definitely. And it just went from there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I I definitely see that you know, and uh, yeah, I I used to watch YouTube poops like we're just religiously and thought they were like the funniest thing in the world, and I I never understood why they were funny, but they they made me laugh. I know it's just it's just a weird thing just just to see like a loop of Robotnik saying the same thing over and over. Pingish, pingish, pingish. Yeah. Or backwards, <laughs> yeah, like, like you, you just don't know why you're laughing. It's, I know. Uh, uh, I still, I still remember the first time I ever heard Pingus, and it was in the first video that it ever had. It was Robotnik's <laughs> Viagra overdose or something like that. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 that's not it. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was Robotnik has a Viagra overdose. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was Steg Blob's video. And, yeah, um, I, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like, like if you don't let me, if you don't, don't take care of your pingus, I'm not going to give you head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like the uh, they had like the Sonic says things where it's like, kids, there's nothing more cool than bombs. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but if someone tries to toast your dog, you will die. <laughs> I know. I mean, uh, that was yeah. like the really early stages of poop back then, and yeah, there really yeah. no word. There really isn't any rules <laughs> now, but there's like guidelines people go go by now. Yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. Standards and the quality, but back then <laughs> yeah, it was just free for anybody to do, and, and <laughs> yeah, people just yeah. came up with anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. Even like the uh, the last YouTube poop I made with, with the Max Payne, you know, like I I just took like everything I've learned over the years and like over like all the YouTube poops that I've that I've watched and there was a time where I didn't watch YouTube poop at all mm -hmm. and uh, and then like just recently <laughs> I got you know the the giggles for it again and you know I uh I I knew kind of like how to make one so uh you know I I did uh I did Max Payne cuz I thought you know it's uh, it's a game that I like playing, obviously, yeah. and and um, and it's like a very seriously toned game, and like just like, messing everything up. But oh with, yeah, uh, definitely. Funny, I, can, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see where you know where you're taking a serious toned um, uh, source material and yeah. make, making it make fun of itself. It's <laughs> it's 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 pretty uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, like in, in the beginning, like his family gets killed. Like, holy shit, that's like that's really emotional. But then, like, he's like freeze, and then he actually freezes, and then he's just like drop it. <laughs> 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 like, uh, yeah. Uh, and my my older brother watches my videos, and he, he thought that was just freaking hilarious. Yeah, but, you're yeah. killing me. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man, yeah. I really thought and. Uh, I had, and you know, I had heard of you before I'd seen that poop. I'd seen Team Fabulous yeah. too, like everybody else had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh -huh. um, that's a that's a very, and we'll get to that in a minute. That's a pretty popular yeah. video. But, oh yeah, it's it's still growing too. I'm surprised. Yeah, it really is. And um, but somebody had pointed to to me that hey man, this really big G mod guy, Kitty Kitty zero seven oh six, he's done made a YouTube poop, and I'm like, really. Yeah, I, I know him because I had seen that video, and then yeah. I clicked on it, and holy shit, that was so goddamn funny! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love I love that you mostly stick to like just mostly gags. Yeah, because some know, people some people go some overboard people with, the, with like repeat things like over and over again. It's and just becomes old, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's all right if if you use it in in a. Um, a little bit yeah but, but like but don't like ever. overdo it like don't do yeah, a reverse not. that takes 30 seconds to do or something like yeah. that yeah exactly but um like there, there were like some things i planned in my head like 
like overnight like oh okay that would be funny if that that happened there or something like that you know and then some some things like when i was recording the gameplay mm -hmm. some some things just came to mind like hey you said freeze what if you actually like froze <laughs> you know so uh, but yeah it's yeah i just realized you know how easy and fun it is to make those <laughs> so yeah I'm surprised you didn't make a Viagra joke about Niagara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but that might that might that may have been out of your field of 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 type of humor or, or yeah. something like well, that. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, I, I thought yeah. it was a very good poop, and and it, and it and it really made it, me want to start what it made me want to start watching your videos to see if to to um kind of see what you were about and i yeah. noticed that there's a lot of that you know nonsensical really random funny kind of you don't know like why it's funny humor. but it's funny it's kind of humor yeah. in your gmod videos kind of like there yeah. is in youtube poop yeah you know I've, I've i've grown up on cartoons i love cartoons i'm a cartoonist myself uh -huh. and, and i want to become an animator and like a professional animator and like work for pixar Oh, cool. Hopefully, and, and then make my own TV show. Like, that's that's been my life goal for, like, years. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, I always favored, you know, over-exaggerating things. Like, because, like, hey, I have this program where you can pose ragdolls and you can do whatever you want with them. So, like, hey, why not incorporate, you know, the cartoony aspects of, uh, I don't know, the Looney Tunes, Ren, Stimpy. It, 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 yeah. It all just, it all just you know interconnected kind of and you know i used to collaborate with a buddy of mine a folding chair uh -huh. and uh, we made we made uh we made uh team fabulous we made, uh mass defect and a couple of video a couple other uh popular ones and um hmm. I, I i i actually met him in high school um oh, cool. <laughs> yeah so uh you know sometimes like after school we would like talk about like ideas and stuff um but um anyway that's cool yeah so, so anyway um next question we'll we'll talk about uh team fabulous too uh tell us tell us a little bit about the uh the development and how and how you came about the uh the script for that and all that script <laughs> <laughs> funny you mentioned script we kind of me and um, folding chair and i we just, um, you know, I, I would I would go over his house and like we would just, you know, you know, brainstorm and just like think of ideas like, hey, what if uh, what if this engineer kept trying to build a sentry and then like a spy kept sabbing it and stuff? He's like, yeah, let's throw that in there. And then, you know, of course there was plenty of room of improv, so I made up my own gags as as I was filming and, uh, you know, it it I I can't. I still can't believe like the amount of attention that it received. Yeah, like, it's yeah, it, it's really it, weird how how one particular video that you made will just garner this huge amount of attention, and you really don't know yeah. why. You know? Yeah, yeah, like is is it's pretty much like my main goal of the video, like the first half, was pretty much you know my recreation of how an average. Team Fortress game is played, you know, it's hectic, it's crazy. Like, you have no idea what's going on sometimes. And, and you know, then I, um, then I was like, you know, I, what would make this interesting is that what if, like, there was actual, like, another conflict besides Red and Blue? So that's huh. when I created the little uh, red imp guy, Spunky the Demon, that's what I called him. Huh. And, um, yeah, I animated him and flash and I, I was still like new at flash animation so it wasn't the best but it worked well, and that's uh, pretty good for somebody who's never really messed with flash before that's uh, that's that's, yeah, that's very nice yeah i you know i watched a couple of tutorials and um i watched um uh, what's his name uh happy harry that oh i that heard one. him yeah 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 and uh i watched i watched his uh how to's and whatnot and uh you know it really him and uh like oni and uh psychic pebbles like i when they when they up when they used to like upload like frequently i used to watch the like the crap out of their videos because i i absolutely love them because they were freaking hilarious 
And um, yeah, that. And then I like I looked up like animation principles, and I got the um, the animator survival kit guide book, and uh, you know, it, it, yeah. I mean, it, even though I haven't animated in Flash in in a while, I I still kind of you know want to expand more on that. Maybe like upload Flash videos in the future. Oh, that would be awesome because I, yeah. I really do think that you you are you're very good at, at the animation stuff, and I do like how you uh, how you put animation together with the idea of GMod and and all that yeah. stuff. Uh-huh. Like you kind of combine that together because you yeah, see, it, um, there's um there's actually YouTube poopers who are doing that right now. They they are combining like new animation and mm-hmm. new scenes and stuff. Of yeah, made yeah, and and. And they'll put that together and add that to a YouTube poop and make this like new, really, really cinematic like story to it. Yeah. Did you ever see that uh, one video? It was uh, it was King of the Hill, but it was with Pokemon. Oh yeah, I saw that. That was like yeah, 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 where, yeah. He, where no. he does like the border <laughs> I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was like, that was too good. That was spot on. Like. King of the Hill animation. I swear to God. Yeah, I'm, not, was, I'm not gonna talk about it. Man, gonna talk about that. That on fire breath, man. <laughs> it's so bad that I can do that so well. <laughs> I, know, I know it sounds exactly like, it. but uh, yeah, this oh. it's crazy. What um, you know how how it all inv- how it all evolved over the years. You know. Yeah. Like like, like same thing with like with uh, with Garrison videos like. And in and, and source filmmaker, you know. I'm oh yeah, that opened also, a whole new door to to everybody. Oh, yeah, because you can Def- basically definitely. make your own cutscenes, pretty much. Yeah. that is so cool. It is, and you know, the learning curve is obviously a lot steeper. But oh, yeah. you know, I know, I I know, like the the basics, and like you know, I know how to like animate a scene, and it's and there, there's a there's a couple uh, source filmmakers I I uploaded, but um, only like two, I think. But um, yeah. If if I put like a lot of time and effort into like uh, a source filmmaker film, I I think I could make something like pretty worthwhile. But it just it just takes such a long time because you're actually like animating. Like you're not just playing with ragdolls where you can just like pose them and you know be done with that. Yeah, you're like, actually, you're actually trying to make a yeah. realistic looking animation out of them. Yeah, like, and you have to animate the physics. That's like, like that's like the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> I I actually talked to a Chow fanatic. You ever heard of him? I th- yeah, I think so. He's 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 kind of a pretty well known kind of SFM guy, and he does some three D modeling too. Mm-hmm. And um, he um. He, uh, what was it? What was he telling me? He was telling me that Blender, you know, the Blender 3D modeling yeah, yeah, yeah. software, uh-huh. the the interface in it, the animation interface in it is actually a lot like Source Filmmaker. Really? So that, that goes to show you how complex it really is. A 3D modeler is about in the same same aspect as Source Filmmaker. Yeah, that, that, is, that is pretty cool. Yeah? I have to admit. Yeah, but, um, you know, I... I actually have have plans for like future uh, source filmmaker films, but return to those uh, those first person projects that I made in Gary's Mod, uh-huh. and uh, and you know I I've, I've been experimenting with like the the first person view, like with the uh, you know you can lock the camera on on the head somehow in in Source Filmmaker, and mm-hmm. you know make uh, make the dude do all the some crazy some crazy tricks. Um, of course, I didn't. I, I didn't upload anything worthy yet of that. But um, but you know, it, it is possible. It's in the and pipeline. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's maybe maybe further down the line we'll see like a a fully awesomely animated first person whatever. You know, maybe I'll finally finish the uprising. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it, it was it was this old uh, first person project series that i was doing and uh i kind of left it off at a cliffhanger and then like through all these years uh, people are like wondering where the part three is and you know i was i was actually thinking about just finishing it and uh i i, I had i had the script for part three somewhere um 
I mean, like, I, I, I think I still have it, but, um... So it's kind of like how Ego Raptor is with Metal Gear Awesome 3. It's kind of like... <laughs> It's never going to come out, kind of like Half-Life 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. But, um, you know, it, it, it's a slim possibility, but, you know. Yeah. We can always dream. Uh-huh, that's right. I had a dream. It was Half-Life 3. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it only exists to my dreams. <laughs> yes. You don't have dreams. <laughs> anyway, um... One more thing about YouTube Poop. How did you first find it, and what was, like, your reaction to it? First YouTube Poop. Oh, man. You're going way back. <laughs> um, my, my first reaction to watching a YouTube Poop, I was, you know, I was, it was, it was back then, like, in my middle school years, mm -hmm. where, like, I was, I was kind of a quiet kid, and I didn't really talk much and you know i moped around a lot and not a lot of things like really made me laugh i was kind of like <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, guess, I was there yeah, too i, can, I was yeah there yeah too. yeah you, you know what i mean and yeah. um and, uh, and once i discovered I don't, I, don't, I don't know i just i just stumbled across it one day and it had me actually laughing in stitches and like nothing has ever made me laugh that hard before and uh you know i, I kept watching them and watching them and and I was just like, wow, this shit is so funny. And I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> like, I don't know why I find this funny. It's and, just a uh, guy fucking around in a video editor. Yet yeah, it is so damn funny. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, he's not supposed to say that. And then, and then like, I can't even explain it. <laughs> like, but, uh, like, the, like the Dr. Rabbit thing where he's saying, oh, I am oh, yeah, a gynecologist. Oh, I'm going to look at your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like, or he's like Doctor Rabbit is racist. Yeah, <laughs> she's or like he's like, yeah, did, you, <laughs> did you know that Negroes are the bad guys of America? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember back in like two thousand seven, two thousand eight, nine, all around <laughs> that Walrus guy was like the the name. Oh my God, Walrus guy was phenomenal <laughs> yeah and i yeah. remember a lot of people hated him because he was so popular but he was popular because because oh, he was doing poop. stuff that nobody else had done yeah exactly he was he was he was, he was original like like he made stuff up yeah and so he had a good thing going yeah and you know i got caught up in that hate because you know i get caught up in the crowd and and the mm -hmm. hey, worst guy is overrated fuff nugget and but yeah, yeah. yeah i went back and i watched his videos again even even link gets cancer the the very first <laughs> one he made i mean yeah even that he he was good he was good yeah. and he deserved what he deserved everything he got Cause, yeah, because he he was he was good, and you know he's still good. He still puts out good stuff every now and then. Yeah. He, he ain't as active as he used to be, but when he does put out stuff, it's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah I I haven't watched him in years, so uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, recently he made one where uh, you know the Squadala guy Guanum. He um, oh yeah yeah yeah. We're off. Yeah. Well, he he like wakes up from a coma or something, and and every yeah. and all the CDI characters are now old and shit and have beards. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> yeah. This penis is what all warriors try for. <laughs> I remember I tried making a YouTube poop, but like it never never made it. But I was I was trying to make the king say my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't get like the sentence mixing correct. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> somebody did did actually manage to do that. Um, oh, really? uh, I'm not. Uh, po uh, not Poppy. Uh, Dopley. Dopley was his oh. name. He was a he was a real good pooper too. Uh -huh. He made this uh, video called Guanum's Ear. Uh, like I R E. I don't know how yeah. to say it. But um, mm -hmm. a a. He was just kind of stumbling around there, or, your majesty, your majesty. And then finally, <laughs> the king says, fuck off, you sand nigger. <laughs> uh, 
sounds funny. Yeah, it was it was funny when I first saw it. I gotta tell you that. <laughs> yeah. But oh yeah. my god! Then um, you have a Durham. Durham Z, rocker, think. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the Hank of the Hill. Oh my god. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you who is really good at uh, at uh, King of the Hill poops is that Orpheus for the Wind guy. Oh, I, I think I've seen like one or two from him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's pretty decent. He's he's like he's like the new, the newer age of YouTube poopers, where they try to add like animated stuff. Th- over yeah, the- yeah. I, I love when they do that. It's so funny. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, my favorite YouTube pooper of all time is this guy named Gabe Chan, and he is. Yeah. He he mostly does like anime stuff, but he also yeah. does like the old source material, like the old Mario cartoons and oh yeah, old, uh-huh. old cartoons like that. And when he does yeah. that kind of stuff, it's really cool. If you ever get a uh-huh. chance, check out the King's Epic Adventure Part Four Act Two. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, the yeah. King's Epic Adventure. Yeah, and watch watch the newest one because the oldest one isn't really that good. Okay. Yeah. But you you will be amazed at how much YouTube poop has like evolved since the since the my boy ate lots of spaghetti stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which that stuff is still great, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I do agree. But anyway, um, so uh, let's get back to the topic of you to poop. Yeah. But no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's get back to the topic of you. Um, so, uh, what kind of projects do you have going on right now? Uh, do you have anything in the pipeline that you're gonna gonna work on soon? Um, right now, I am currently working on a um, a new like I I guess you you would call it a series, but um, there it's it's gonna be called Half and Half Two. <laughs> um. It it's pretty much like each episode is like a skit, you know. It's it's short and sweet, and uh, maybe some skits will be longer than others. Mm-hmm. It like originally I wanted it to be like one big video with a bunch of skits in it, you know, kind of like uh, the G Mod Idiot Box that Bullshit yeah. uh, w- works on, and uh, you know, Bullshit is actually one of my main influences, and him and I are like good buddies, good buddies on uh, Steam, and um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Full Life Consequences, you know, DJY. Yeah. <laughs> John Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah. that, 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 that video is so old now, but it is still the funniest crap in yeah. the world. It, it's a classic, yeah. It really is. It's one of those uh-huh. it's one of those must see G mod videos. Yeah. And it, you know, like in you know uh, uh Das Bullshit's uh April Fool's videos, like when I'm involved with like all those like popular doom otters and stuff is it's just so much fun you know working with them and uh oh. have a good time. yeah As, uh, yeah um, that, that does sound like it's pretty fun yeah it is it's uh, yeah. um i'm trying to think of uh what was it uh, yeah john yeah. freeman screams at the top of long <laughs> that, <laughs> i always thought that was so funny yeah. um one gmod video that i loved to death because it was it was almost like a YouTube poop uh, yeah. in a way, because um it had all the YouTube poop stuff that it has on it, like yeah. the loud noises and crap, uh-huh. and um it was a uh, sexual heavy in paradise. Sexual heavy, I haven't seen that one actually. It's uh by Ethio Mod. Oh, I I know I know Ethio Mod, but I haven't seen that particular the video. The video got taken down, is what the thing is. Oh. But yeah. somebody re-uploaded it just recently, and uh, it's back up. So, Sexual Heavy oh. in Paradise, that's it. Sexual Heavy in Paradise. Okay. That's I'll, it. Write, I'll write that down. <laughs> but, yeah, that is a beautiful one. I mean, it's got it's got stuff that I still say to this day on it uh, to, to kind of fuck with my Skype friends. And it's like, <laughs> man, you're still watching that video? I mean, it's funny, man. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> like there's this there's this part where the heavy is is spinning round and round on his head and saying "Pootis" backwards. He's woof, he's woof, he's woof. <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, rubber fruit like inspired a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you, when you see videos like that, you just you just laugh. Like you don't you don't know 
there's there's no rhyme or reason there's no there's no plot or <laughs> but it, it, it's just funny yeah like, it's really know, funny when why. when you've got something that really doesn't have a plot to it it's just kind of <laughs> random or like yeah. if it has a plot and it makes no sense <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah. Kind of, kind of like you did with Team Fabulous too. There is a plot to yeah. it, kind of, but yeah, at, at some point, mm. but it, at, it at really some makes point, no uh, sense. Yeah, at, at some point there is a plot where, you know, the this dude is capturing all everybody except for this one engineer, and this engineer wants to save everybody, and then everybody becomes friends uh, at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um. Yeah, like same thing with uh, Mass Defect. He takes over a ship, and then consequences happens, and yeah, <laughs> hilarity ensues. Yeah, pretty much, you know. Oh, let's see. Um, um, I I'll ask you another question. Uh, what what games have you been playing lately? Just a games? random one I'll throw out there. Um, I've been just uh, I've been playing um. Uh, have I been playing? I've actually been playing uh, the first Metal Gear Solid. Like I, I just recently got into the series, to be honest. Oh, like, yeah. And um, you know, I I got like all the uh, I got got one, two, three, four, and I got uh, the 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 newest one, but it was like a demo kind of. Oh yeah, um, the the ground zeros yeah, thing. Yeah, the ground zeros. Yeah, I watched my brother play that, and it, it's just freaking awesome, phenomenal. Oh man, uh, I, I can't wait till the full thing comes out. I mean, oh yeah, like it's the, like the, you're playing yeah. a movie. You know? Exactly. Like it is like sixty frames per second, and like the cloth flailing everywhere, and like the rain. Like it was just perfect. Like it, it just flowed so nicely. Like I I still have I still have to you know play it myself, but um. You know, it, it just looked like a ton of fun. Yeah. And since you're getting into Metal Gear Solid, you're really going to understand what an um, amazing director that Hideo Kojima really is. Oh, oh yeah. And same thing with uh, Silent Hills. Man, like the, I cannot the wait for Silent Hills. Oh, that oh is going to be fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah like the, the playable teaser, I still haven't beaten yet. Like, I went back to it, and, like, something different happens, and, like... Sometimes I start at the end and just, ugh, like it, I was, it messes with your head. It does. Like you have to stare at different things, like at a certain angle, and like uh, put together this picture. And I would become so close to doing that, and then I wouldn't know what to do. Like because the because like all the walkthroughs say something different. Like that I look up and like it, it just it's like just a game that changes it. its rules every time you play it. Yeah, exactly. It's ugh. and I, I think once the real game comes out, it's it's gonna be something uh -huh. really killer. Cause um, because the playable teaser is just a, a mind fuck. To, to oh my god, yeah. And in, in the amount of detail, like like if you just stare at the wall, you can see like the materials of like the wood and everything. Like if if, if Silent Hills is gonna look like that, that's gonna be freaking impressive. And uh, my mother, she's a big Walking Dead fan. She's all excited that Norman oh, yeah, Reedus is in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So and uh, yeah, I I actually uh, saw the most recent episode. They actually started to, you know, pick up because like the past few seasons were pretty awful. I thought, uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. um. I, I did. I did get to a point to where I was just. I was just saying, when are they going to shoot some more goddamn zombies? <laughs> I know exactly. And then that episode kind of just like blended everything together. It was like, okay, we got the gang back. Okay, we got zombies and violence and, and guns and blows and shit. Of, you know, no drama and all that bullshit. No you love know? story <laughs> and all this crap between. He's cheating on this one. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't want to like, watch a soap opera. We want to watch some zombies get their head blown off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like I'm really anxious to see um, this weekend's episode, and I like I hope it's good because if it, if it picks up like the uh, last week's episode, then yeah, I'm I'm gonna stick around because I've stuck around since the first episode. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I kind of started like late. I didn't, I didn't start like when it was on TV. Yeah. But um, 
yeah, I, I started watching it on Netflix with my older brother. And, uh, you know, it kind of just came from there. Like, the first season was hands down amazing. Like, it was it was awesome. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, um, let me let me see. What else could I ask you before I before I cut this off? Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'll I'll, I'll ask you. Um, um, I'll, I'll get back on the poop subject. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what was? Do you remember your the be, the coolest YouTube poop you ever saw? Like the one that that you remember as the one that made you laugh extremely hard. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that that's hard because a lot of them did. <laughs> there was um It's kinda hard to pick. I know it, it's hard to pick and it's hard to remember, you know. Oh, yeah. When I used when I used to watch them like religiously. Yeah. Um, and you know, they have they have such crazy names like mm-hmm. it's 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 actually hard to remember them sometimes, like yeah. Robotnik gets diarrhea in the middle of a public speech and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, I, hmm. oh, I don't know, anything with, like, Dr. Robotnik like, I thought was just fucking hilarious because his voice was just so over-exaggerated, like, Dr. I know. Robotnik! I know, because John what? Baldry, you know, that Why? The guy... Why? <laughs> <laughs> he was just he was just an amazing actor i mean even though it wasn't that great of a show he yeah. was a good actor because yeah, he, like he, he over he over dramatized this character and turned him into a, 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 a he stole the show yeah he people don't even remember that. sonic because yeah, sonic yeah. was freaking urkel okay uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah everybody like, remembers like, robotnik <laughs> yeah yeah like on netflix if i if i felt like watching a if I felt like watching that show, it would be because of Robotnik. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I've really outdone myself this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give myself a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, I'll melt you down my way. <laughs> Snooping as usual, I see. <laughs> <laughs> the scene that that really garners a lot of attention from the poop community, I've noticed, like like on the for, the official forums, is everybody remembers that um, there there was an episode called Tales in Charge, and like the first few seconds of Tales in Charge, all you see is Robotnik's ass jiggling about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in the intro too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> there was something about Robotnik's ass that, that they kept bringing back for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, is, is there something you're trying to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I can clearly see it's taking up the whole screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Yeah. But, yeah, like, anything with, like, Robotnik had me in stitches. Oh, my Yeah. <laughs> yeah but you know you really um your stuff and ethio mod and those guys have really got me into the gmod videos especially with yeah. the real crazy stuff so mm-hmm. i think i'm gonna start watching that more and i think i'm because it's giving me inspiration to make youtube poops again because i yeah I, I i got to a point to where i i kind of slowed down from youtube poop because i really wasn't i was seeing the same things over and over again and the yeah, people that yeah. i used to watch weren't making videos <laughs> anymore yeah so I, but I, I started agree. watching your stuff and Ethiomod and these other people that I can't think of the names of right now, but they were the 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 way that they made the gags and the way that the jokes are are, are planned out. Uh, it, they're the 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 punchline is they're not planned out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but most of them, you know, rely like on improv. Like, like I would I would come up with the best jokes when I'm in the middle of of you know filming and doing my thing and I'm like what if this happened because like that's that's the best way to get ideas is if you you look at anything in life like i can look at this lamp right here on my desk and be like what if this lamp uh i don't know had a jet pack and flew around and sh- sh- just did shit i, I don't know <laughs> yeah. but, and uh, you could make it, a whole know? video centered around that and make yeah, it enjoyable exactly. <laughs> uh-huh 
and you can build off of that and that that's how you know I make most of my ideas like with this um with this half and half thing um like I'm basing it off of uh you know of course the half life 2 universe oh. and how shitty the lives of the citizens are in city 17 and mm-hmm. and you know I'm also incorporating like real life occurrences that 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 could happen you know like everyday things like uh, getting stuck in traffic or like some asshole <laughs> parks in your spot or something like that yeah and um you know in, and then like incorporating like a half life 2 swing on it and maybe like there's some like uh portal and like other valve references and stuff mm. I, th- or, I, th- I think or like I think, um or like gordon freeman gordon freeman tries to call 911 hello yeah. Yeah. hello <laughs> sir we can't hear you hello <laughs> yeah because <laughs> he really. doesn't say anything yeah exa- exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> But um, but yeah, I've I've like uh, I already have like a ton of skit ideas for uh, for this uh, new series and um, oh yeah, and and then Elliot goes to school, of course. That's that's like everybody's favorite. And um, oh, I forgot about that. That yeah. is, that is a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, the problem is with uh, with Elliot goes to school is that you know it just takes so long to make an episode. It takes so long to like get all the actors together and record all the voice acting and well oh, first man. of all I, I I write write ideas down and then the script and you know it it's it's a long process and it's that, a little that's bit more I, involved than making something yourself yeah, yeah exactly I know so, what uh, you mean because uh, I I you know when YouTube poop we've got what's called collabs where we yeah, yeah. where we get a whole bunch of people together and they all make poops. And yeah, yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. you'll have these one guys that are telling you, "I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow." And exactly, the next yeah. day they say, "I'll do it tomorrow." Uh, yeah, and, 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 and it causes delays. Yeah, and, um, and, um, and then I also, I also make maps in a in the hammer editor, so mm. you know that that takes up time. But I I love mapping. Mapping's mapping's a lot of fun. Yeah, mapping's and, cool uh, if you, if you yeah. can get the map to act right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. That's why I always like half-ass my maps because they're only designed for the video itself. And so many people are saying like, "Oh, you should uh, release the maps." I'm like, "No, they're like unfinished because that's where the camera angle is supposed to be, and like behind that is just like nothing." So it's, and, it's uh, just like build building a, a set for a for a sitcom or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know, I'm, I'm you know, I kind of. You know, it's sad that I can't upload these maps like because I'm like stupid when I when it comes to like compiling like custom shit that I that I put in there. You know, yeah, I, I get place, you. I place textures and whatnot, and yeah, yeah, that that does that does kind of get aggravating after a while. Yeah, you know, very time consuming. But um, you know, I I, I do have ideas for the new Elliot and um. You know, I've been actually uh, working on the uh, like the new skin for Elliot, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, I've been uh, keeping in contact with the uh, the voice actors. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do uh, an Elliot video in the near future, and was wondering if you're gonna be available. And they were saying like, yeah, yeah. So um, so yeah, definitely one is definitely coming up yeah. eventually. But yeah, I know oh, that's wonderful to hear. I mean, I bet uh, there's a lot of people that's looking forward to that. I bet there is. Yeah. Uh huh. Because and, that's uh, a that's a pretty big uh, that's a pretty big draw in to your uh, to your channel, isn't it? Oh yeah, you know each each episode at least over a million views. I think, except mm. except I'm not sure if camping reached a million. I, I probably close, but um close enough for rock and yeah. roll, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, close enough to. Uh, fit in with the rest of the group. Yeah. Of, it's, yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, I guess we'll close the uh, interview right here. And um, okay. since uh, we're rolling on 50 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll leave you one last question. Uh, what have you got to say to all the YouTube poopers and G modders and so- source filmmaker editors out there? And what are your words of wisdom? My words of wisdom is do what you love and, you know, 
when you're when you're in that mode when you're creating like you're you're like in the zone like it's literally the best feeling in the world because time flies and you're just so into your project and you're, you're just like wow this is this is coming out awesome i can't wait to edit this later and um you know just be happy with what you do because you know if if you if you feel like you're being enslaved by uh by your fan base then you won't be happy and then it's it's going to come out like crap so really you know what if if i upload like a video that's not Gary's mom related and, it's, and my fans are like hey what the hell is this shit i'm so unsubscribing <laughs> but um you know i don't i don't, I don't give a shit I, I i made it you know i made it because i wanted to cuz yeah I love creating things and and uh, be, being diverse and 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 whatnot, you know, and um, you know, just just do what you love and love what you do. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Well, everybody, that is your words of wisdom from Mr. Elliot Kitty zero seven zero six. Almost said, I almost said City seven so six. <laughs> Try saying six, that six. three times fast. <laughs> yeah, right. Tongue twister. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Mr. Elliot, for being on with us. Oh. And you have what? a good day. You too. <laughs>